Venerable Brother First Warden, what is the first duty of a warden in the Central Chamber? Very respected Master, it is to be assured that the exterior of the temple is secure. Venerable Brother Second Warden, would you assure yourself of the same? Venerable Brother Tyler, would you assure yourself of the security of the exterior of the temple? Venerable Brother Second Warden, the approach to our temple is deserted. The brother's apprentice and companions have departed. Very respectful master, the approach to our temple is deserted. The brother's apprentice and companions have departed. Venerable Brother Second Warden. First Warden, what is the second duty of a warden in the central chamber? It is to be assured that all present upon the columns of the north and of noon are regular Master Masons. Members of this workshop are known visitors. Stand in front of Order Brothers and face the Orient. Venerable Brother First and Second Warden, assure yourself that those brothers who decorate the columns are regular Master Masons. Members of this workshop are known visitors. Venerable Brother First Warden, the brothers of the Column of the North are all Master Masons. Very respected Master, the brothers of the Column of Noon and of the North are all Master Masons. Members of this workshop are no visitors. It is the same to the Dev Hill. Venerable Brother First Warden, are you a Mason? My brothers recognize it as such, very respected Master. Brother First Warden, what is your age? Three years, very respectable Master. Have you gone further? Interrogate me. I know the letter G. Do you have any other knowledge of masonry? Test me. The acacia is known to me. Venerable Brother Second Warden, what is your age? Seven years and more, very respected Master. Venerable Brother First Warden, at what hour do we open the labors of the Central Chamber? At noon, very respected Master. Venerable Brother Second Warden, what is the hour? It is noon, very respected master. The sun shines at its zenith upon our temples. Between the two sycamores that mark the boundaries of the horizon, the morning star that rises every day lingers behind to salute the final time. And the fields of roses, the glorifications are joyous. Masons of the land of Memphis, because the light shines one more time upon the old Egypt. The morning star lingers for a final salutation to one of our brothers, and the glorification of the fields of the roses are joyous. It is the time to open our labors. Thus, in virtue of the hour, and because we are of age, Brother First and Second Warden, invite the venerable brothers who decorate your columns to assist us. Venerable masters who decorate the columns of noon, you are invited by the very respected master and myself to join with us in opening the labors of the central chamber. Venerable masters who decorate the columns of the north, you are invited by the very respectable master and myself to join with us in opening our labors of the central chamber. Very, very venerable masters who decorate the dev here, I invite you to join with us to open the labors of the central chamber. With me, my brothers, by the master sign, the sign of four, and the acclamation. of the universe, and in the name and of the auspices of the Grand Orient of Memphis and Mizraim, and in virtue of the power that it confers upon me, I declare open the central chamber and the work of this respectable lodge, the mother of abomin abominations, at a zenith of, what's the time? It is now 6.30. 6.30. Brother Grand Expert? Do you care to bring in the first time? 